There has been a discovery of some extremely rare plants on Tortola. The plants were discovered on Sage Mountain. One BVI endemic species has never been found on Tortola and is now in a protected area. The National Parks Trust and the Royal Botanic Gardens Q are working on a collaborative project funded by Darwin Plus Environment and Climate Fund to build systems and capacity to monitor BVI's flora along with four other partners out of Puerto Rico. David Hamilton, research leader for the UK Overseas Territory, said over the last two years they have identified several new populations of rare species of plants on Tortola. Uh, we've had so many new discoveries. Um, we've reported a number of these, uh, but today what I want to, to share with you is, is probably one of the most important finds that we've had. Uh, yesterday on Sage Mountain, we were able to rediscover a population of a BVI endemic species called Calyptranthes chiroscovii. The species has not been seen on Tortola since 1895. Uh, the only known population was on Gorda Peak. We've been monitoring that uh, population for a number of years. Uh, but yesterday, the group of us out together were able to find uh, this population. It's still there. It's very healthy. Uh, we need to go back and do a lot more surveying, but we do know that the species is still extant. Uh, the other exciting find is a, is a new record for a Virgin Island endemic, and again, one of the federally listed species that Omar and his colleagues work with. So Calyptranthes tomasiana, uh, in the same family, the same genus as the uh, Chiroscovii that I just mentioned, um, has been found here on Tortola for the first time. Never been recorded here before. And so again, this is a, a extremely rare plant and a major find uh, to know that it's here and it's in a protected area. So we have the species in protection. According to Hamilton, some of the plants on Tortola cannot be found anywhere else in the world. He said the BVI is home to a lot of rare and important species and they need to be conserved. As part of the two-year Darwin project, the team has been collecting seeds and securing live plants to develop a plant collection at the Botanic Gardens. We'll also be developing the ex situ collection. Uh, so the plants that we're growing here in the gardens are actually a conservation initiative. Uh, we go out, we collect seed of these species, we put those in secure storage, but we also use those seeds to turn them into plants. And so just as an example, on the table here, we have a few uh, species of interest. Uh, the one at the, the front in the white pot, uh, this is a federally listed, so U.S. government has federally listed this species. It's called Mitricarpus polycladus. Uh, it is only known in southwest Puerto Rico. Um, and we have a, a large population that we've recently rediscovered on Anagata. Uh, the next plant back in the green pot, uh, these are cuttings of an extremely rare tree called Erythrina agurzii. Uh, it is a Puerto Rican bank endemic. There is very little known about this species, very few individuals left. And again, uh, this was a discovery uh, just in the last six months here on Tortola. But these are just a few examples of the species that we're, we're getting into the collections here. We're learning how to grow them and we'll now be putting them on display so that we'll be able to have a, a native plant garden that people can come and see. And then hopefully in the future, there will be native plants that people can actually take home with them uh, from the nursery sales. I'm sure there will be many more exciting discoveries. Uh, we'll be able to ex secure many new ex situ collections uh, and hopefully ensure that the heritage and the, the plants of the British Virgin Islands is secured, uh, not only in your parks, but also trying to get those out into the hands of the public so that people begin to understand the importance of what is right behind them, is right around them in the forest. Um, because these are things that occur nowhere else in the world. Uh, and some of the plants that do occur other places are in such a critical state that they have legal protection, that there are you know, huge amounts of resources going in to try to protect those species in the wild. And here in BVI we have uh, already large populations in good shape. So we just need to ensure that those populations don't decrease, uh, that we don't begin to lose them uh, because that's a slippery slope once we start down it. 
The project is also providing training to National Parks Trust staff to identify threatened species and their habitat as well as adequately monitor botanical collections to ensure they represent BVI's wild plant diversity. Natasha Harrigan is the first member of staff to benefit from the training at Q Botanic Gardens and the University of Puerto Rico, which includes data collection using Brahms software and how to curate and maintain a herbarium in the BVI. She is our uh, terrestrial warden and we are actually looking forward to grooming her towards becoming the curator for the Botanic Gardens in time to come. Um, Natasha is very passionate, she's very capable, she's undergone her training at the University of Virgin Islands and she is, she's wowed us from day one with her um, strength. She goes out into places where most uh, persons who have been in the field for long years and are accustomed to the heat and the strenuous terrain and the difficult conditions and she just deals with all of it with this very calm, cool and collected nature and she's, she's a lot tougher and stronger than she looks. Um, and we are really certain that we are investing in her and it's a secure investment because she is proving to be exactly what she has always promised and we will continue to help her move further and further towards that capability of really helping us to take the Botanic Gardens and our plant conservation locally to next levels. A threatened species conservation strategy through a series of protocols will be developed jointly between Kew Gardens and National Parks Trust to ensure successful implementation. <laughs>